सर्वधर्म स्थापक सर्वधर्म स्वरूप आचार्याण महाचार्यो राम कृष्णाय ते नम ओ इस्टाब्लिशर ऑफ ऑल द फेथ्स एम्बॉडिमेंट ऑफ ऑल द रिलीजन्स द ग्रेटेस्ट टीचर अमंग ऑल द टीचर्स ओ श्री राम कृष्ण माई सैल्यूटेशन टू यू श्री राम कृष्ण इज नाउ गिविंग अस दैट कॉन्फिडेंट टीचिंग दैट tamas may be a bad quality from the worldly perspective but when applied in devotional context when applied in the spiritual context even tamas can give the results what a sattvic or a rajasic devotee will get from the, those types of uh, uh, devotional practices even tamas you force your demands on the god force your demands on the mother and mother will have to relent mother will have to shower her grace on the erring child for that matter one should have that confidence sri ram krishna said that uh, the 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 devotee should say i have chanted the name of the lord at the time of my death how the blessed one how my mother can deprive me from my liberation how can she keep away my mukti from me i have chanted the name of god i have chanted the name of kali at my death bed at the moment of my death she cannot deprive me from my liberation from my deliverance that should be the confidence that should be the type of tamasik bhakti one should possess to attain something that is required that is that is aimed at that is our goal shri ram krishna says that if you give a spiritual turn to tamas you can realize god with the uh, with its help tamas we all have but instead of wasting that tamas on the worldly scene put it in the spirituality shri ram krishna says force your demands on god like a decoid will or a robber will force its demand on the wayfarer on the, the traveler whom the robber has you know uh, tackled uh, on on the highway so shri ram krishna says force your demands on god he is by no means a stranger to you he is indeed your very own mother is indeed the very own of her child you have got all the right to fight with your mother give me your property give me my riches give me what i want so that should be the, uh, the the effective way of utilization of tamas uh, as as a devotional practice doesn't matter you may not be endowed with sattva you may not be endowed with rajas even if you are endowed with tamas use that tamas to get your demands fulfilled from the divine mother to get your demands fulfilled from the lord so that is uh, the teaching that uh, shri ram krishna had told us have that confidence what i have chanted the mother's name how can i be a sinner anymore i cannot be a sinner i might have done so many things in the past fine but now i have chanted the name of that faith that firm conviction the devotee must have utilizing this tamas i am her child i am the uh, the, the rightful heir to her riches to her power to her glories she has to give her power her glories her riches to the child howsoever wretched i might have been but now that i have uttered the name of mother nobody can stop me even she cannot stop so with that tamas and now shri ram krishna elaborates further this point now he is talking to brahmos now shri ram krishna says even this tamas you can bring up but devotional aspect he has already dealt with shri ram krishna says even this quality of tamas you can use it for welfare of others now the brahmos for that matter as we have seen earlier brahmos have these uh, two uh, uh, basic fundamental principles one is spiritual growth and doing good to the world spiritual teachings and preachings and doing good to the world and in that context shri ram krishna had told that all these things you can do once you get the command from the god you can start your spiritual teachings your preachings your lectures 
if you get command from the God, if you get authority from the God to teach others. And you can start doing good to the world when you get that self-realization. When you get that realization that what lies in me also lies in all others. What I am possessing is also possessed by all others. Then your service, then your good doing good to others will carry some meaning. And now once again, Sri Ramakrishna, now he has talked about uh, uh, Satvarajas and Tamas uh, in two perspectives of the worldly people and of the devotional attributes of Satvarajas and Tamas. Now Sri Ramakrishna says, this Tamas you can also employ effectively in doing the welfare of others, doing good to the others. You employ that Tamas. And then Sri Ramakrishna gives the examples of two uh, distinct uh, types of uh, uh, a physician and a teacher. Now first Sri Ramakrishna gives the example of physician. He says that physicians can be of three types of superior, mediocre and inferior. Now utilizing the tamas doesn't matter if one is endowed with uh, tamasic attitude. Let that person not consider uh, to be uh, you know Dawn trodden, gone case. Utilize that tamas like a physician would use tamas. Now, while uh, narrating the three uh, distinct types of physicians, Sri Ramakrishna is giving the example. He says uh, there are three classes of physicians superior, mediocre, and inferior. The physician who feels the pulse of patient, who feels the patient's pulse and just says to him, Take this medicine regularly. He nothing further. Pulse is checked, uh, checked, and uh, advice is given. Take this medicine regularly. Sri Ramakrishna says that physician is of inferior type. Simply telling take the medicine, it is not the patient may not may take may not take. But Sri Ramakrishna says that. He, uh, he, he does not care to inquire whether or not the patient has actually taken the medicine. So this uh, physician, Sri Ramakrishna says, is of a inferior quality. He doesn't bother whether, he will give instruction, fine. Take this medicine twice a day, thrice a day, that's it. But whether the patient has taken, he won't even bother to check. Then Sri Ramakrishna says there is a mediocre type of patient, uh, physician. This mediocre physician, uh, Sri Ramakrishna says, that in various ways, he will try to persuade the patient to take the medicine. In a very sweet words, he will tell the patient, my dear good man, you, how will, be, how will you be cured unless you take the medicine? Take the medicine at proper time. Three times a day you have to take the medicine. If you take the medicine, only then you will recover. Hmm? I have made it specific, specially for you. See how much trouble I have taken to prepare this medicine for you. Take this medicine three times a day. Take this medicine two times a day. This kind of instruction with very loving, very affectionate manner, the physician will tell the patient. Mediocre. Again, this patient will not ensure whether the patient has really taken the medicine or not. All those sweet words might influence the patient to take the medicine. That is a different matter. But physician on his own uh, efforts, on his own, he will not make effort to understand, to make out whether the patient is really taking the medicine or not. So Sri Ramakrishna says he is a mediocre type of patient, slightly superior to the inferior. But Sri Ramakrishna says that finding that patient stubbornly refusing to take the medicine, the, the physician forces it down his throat, going so far as to put his knee on patient's chest and putting the medicine in his mouth. Sri Ramakrishna says that is the superior type of physician. He ensures that the medicine has entered the system of the patient. It is not just goody goody words. It is not just loving words, affectionate words, caring words. Or it is not just a, a direction that you take for, three, for uh, medicine three times a day. 
he will the moment he realizes a patient is a kind of determined not to take my medicine he will put it down the throat he will even press the patient put his knee on the chest of the patient and allow close his nose and see to it that the medicine enters the system of the patient only then he can be cured of the illness this is the manifestation of tamas of physicians shri ramakrishna says and it doesn't injure the patient on the contrary it does him good so that is the tamasic way of doing good to others you are not doing i will see to it that you do it in the right way hmm? i will see to it that you take the medicine let me see how you are not taking medicine he will force the medicine down the throat of the patient so that is uh, the, the the three types of uh, physicians that uh, shri ramakrishna had uh, spoken about he he had told the uh, devotees that the best type he is the one who forces the medicine he is the most superior and that is the way of utilizing tamas for doing good to others and in the same context shri ramakrishna says there are three types of religious teachers also there are also three types of religious teachers who fall under the same categories of superior mediocre and inferior like the physicians now talking about uh, the, the the spiritual teachers shri ramakrishna says like the physicians there are three types of religious teachers the inferior teacher only gives instruction to the disciples but makes no inquiries about their progress that is the inferior type of teacher he will give instruction do this 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 Hmm? this is the plan of action follow this uh, the, the bullet points and you will get the illumination but whether the pupil whether the disciple is actually practicing in the right manner in the right spirit in the right direction this teacher will never bother to inquire about it his duty is finished the moment he gives instruction and shri ramakrishna says that kind of teacher is the most inferior type of teacher the mediocre teacher again like the mediocre uh, physician shri ramakrishna says for the good of the student he makes repeated efforts to bring the instruction uh, uh, home to him he make repeated efforts 10 times he will tell the student 10 times he will tell the disciple this is how you should do it this is how you should practice your japa this is how you should practice your meditation this is how you should contemplate on the divine he will give instructions 10 20 50 100 times he begs to him he begs to him to assimilate his teachings and shows him love in many other ways he will be very lo- loving very affectionate with in his words but may not be in the deeds he will give all the good talk sweet talk to the disciple do it man this is for the your good you should do japa morning and afternoon and evening you should meditate morning and afternoon and evening this is how you should do it but that is where that mediocre teacher thinks his role is over he will not see to the progress of the student to the progress of the disciple whether the disciple is on the right track whether the disciple is only the gurus can know whether the disciple even disciples they don't know whether they are on the right track even the disciples don't know how much progress they have made it is only the guru who can and shri ramakrishna says even the mediocre type of guru he won't go to the depths of analyzing the student's progress his job is to give instructions in most loving manner most affectionate manner with the sweetest of the words so that is the mediocre type of uh, 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 spiritual teacher but there is a type of teacher who goes to the extent of even using force when he finds student is persistently unyielding and shri ramakrishna says i call him the best teacher this teacher will even slap this teacher he will shout at the student this teacher he will make sure that the disciple the disciple is following my words the disciple is on the right path the teacher will make efforts to 
check the progress of the disciple. And if he finds the disciple is, uh, you know, uh, be, being shaky, the disciple is not obedient to, his, the, to the instructions which have been given, he will use force. You have not done Japa 108 times. Next time, you have to do it 1008 times. And the teacher by force will get the Japa done from him. Will get the meditation done from him. Because this teacher's objective is my disciple should progress on the path of spirituality. My disciple should attain to liberation. It is not that I have just, I, I, my duty is over after giving him instruction. It is my responsibility. It is my responsibility to see to it that my child is liberated. My child reaches its goal. My child reaches, reaches its destination. That is the most superior type of guru. So that is what uh, Sri Ramakrishna has taught uh, in this by way of these two examples. That even tamas can be brought, met, 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 uh, brought into practice. Even tamas can be used to make good to others, to do good to others, to do service to others. Whether it is service of physician like or whether it is service of a spiritual teacher like. And in this context, I remember uh, the, 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 the teaching that uh, our master Sri Sarda Devi had once given uh, to uh, one of her disciples. She said that, do you think even if I uh, uh, this body dies, I'm going to get uh, you know, freed from my commitment towards my disciples? He says, till my last disciple is not liberated. Even if I don't remain in the body, it is my duty, it is my responsibility to see to it that my every child reaches liberation, reaches the final destination. Such great words. And that indicates what the most superior teacher our mother was, the Holy Mother, our Ma. Om Namah Shri Bhagavate Ramakrishnaya. Sri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu. Jai Thakur, Jai Ma. Jai Swamiji.